So when you're applying Liberty herbicide and Enlist One herbicides together, the great thing is a lot of the label requirements are going to be very similar for both herbicides. And so um, starts with always using the proper use rates. So we recommend 32 ounces of both Liberty and Enlist One in that tank mix together. Uh, second to that would talk about carrier volume. Um, typically the more the better. We recommend 20 gallons per acre um, of water when we're, or carrier volume when you're tank mixing Liberty and Enlist One together. Um, and then adjuvants are always key. So somewhere between one and a half to three pounds of an approved AMS um, is gonna be crucial to helping the Liberty specifically work effectively in that tank mix. Uh, and then also approved nozzles. Um, so looking for a medium to coarse size nozzle um, droplet spectrum. So make sure we're looking at those approved pressures as well as approved nozzles, something like an AIXR that's going to give you that medium to coarse coverage. Um, key for Liberty specifically being a contact herbicide, but also um, helps with the efficacy of both of those herbicides together. A couple other things we can consider are the wind speed, um, at the time of application, um, which we really recommend less than 10 miles an hour for wind speed. And then finally, time of day is crucial. Um, somewhere two hours after sunrise and two hours before sunset. I always say banker's hours are ideal for Liberty because it likes yes. um, hotter temperatures and humidity never hurts either. So um, warmer weather, humid conditions, middle of the day are an ideal time to be able to spray our Liberty herbicide. And getting good coverage is real key, and you have the right nozzle. Better coverage you get with the right gallons of water and the right nozzle tip will give you the best weed control. Coverage equals weed control, so it's very important to have the, uh, the right nozzles.